Hey, my foundation fanatics, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today, and today is Foundation Friday. If you're new to my channel, I review new foundations every Friday and curly hair products on Sunday. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any more reviews. Today's video is going to be about the Bare Minerals Matte Powder Foundation. I have never used a powder foundation before. When I think of foundation, I think of liquid foundation. So this is going to be a very experimental video on how much coverage a powder foundation can really get. So let me tell you a little bit more about this foundation before we get started. I bought this foundation from Sephora and it was $29, so it's a pretty affordable high-end foundation, if you will. And there are 32 colors in the shade range. I think that is amazing because I am color medium tan 18 and there's 14 additional brown and darker shades past my skin tone. So that is major. Usually there's always like one or two colors darker than my skin tone, especially for drugstore foundations, but this one has 14 deeper shades. Now according to bareminerals.com, it says it's supposed to have sheer to full coverage. We'll see about that in this video. A naturally matte finish, and it actually says that it's quite possibly the perfect foundation for oily skin. That's why I bought it. I have very, very oily skin and I will put this foundation to the test today by wearing it all day and then coming back to show you how well it does on my oily skin. So that's gonna be a really, really major test for me. Makeup so pure you can sleep in it. That's a huge claim. We obviously know that if you sleep in makeup, it's supposed to be like really horrible. But since this is a Bare Minerals brand and they have really natural ingredients, they're claiming that it's that natural. Without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied this powder foundation to my skin. Okay, so starting off, my face is already moisturized. I'm just going to use my primer now. And since I'm using a high-end foundation, I'm gonna be using a high-end primer. This is my Veil Mineral Primer by Hourglass. So I guess I'm still keeping it like in the mineral family today. And we're just gonna apply a little pump of this, giving us a nice smooth base to start with. So today I'm definitely experimenting. This is not a how to apply powder foundation tutorial because this is the first time I'm doing it. But I mean, if this turns out amazing, it was a tutorial. But if it didn't, like... Now because my skin is so thoughtful, it decided to have a blemish today so we could check out the coverage. Yeah, I mean, my skin's just very generous. But it is still pretty red, so I'm gonna use a color corrector today. This is just a color corrector by Wet n Wild. If you guys didn't know, the color green will cancel out red. So I'm just gonna dab some of this on there, just so that red isn't so like extreme. Green is good for covering redness, and an orangey red color is good for covering your dark circles. There we go. And now I'm going to cover these dark circles just by using my concealer. I'm gonna be using the NARS Medium Dark 2 Caramel Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Look at that coverage. Right side, left side. Dark circle, no more dark circle. There you go, that's the end of this tutorial. Just kidding, I look really crazy. Now I'm going to blend this out with a damp beauty blender. And I'm gonna blend out my little green dots. So they're not straight up dots. See how I kind of calm down the redness? Just a tad. Okay, so now I can grab the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. This is the color Medium Tan 18, oh, my favorite number, 0.21 ounces of product. That's new, and when you open it, oh, there's a little note inside. Secret message. I know some of these words. So according to this little instruction manual and other videos that I've seen on YouTube, it says to swirl around a small amount of Bare Minerals foundation in the lid. Like a very small amount. The inner savage in me 
wants to like dump the powder on here and like go ham because I just feel like the powder is not going to give me enough coverage. But I'm going to listen to the instructions, you know, do as I'm told. So it has a little whoop, plastic thing in here. We're going to open the lid. Oh, snaps. My nails aren't going to like this. There you go. <laughs> so inside this little plastic container, you could open and close it kind of like seasoning salt <laughs> and you could just tap out as much powder as you want. So I'm going to tap the powder into the lid. So in the videos I've watched, they've literally used this much powder, like not a lot at all. So I'm going to be using this multi-purpose powder brush by Moda. So I'm just going to swirl this around. I definitely need more coverage, so I'm gonna keep going. Gonna keep swirling it around until I get the coverage that I desire. Slowly but surely. I feel like you gotta have patience for this. I'm kinda used to slapping on the liquid foundation, but you know, whatever. This is my third tap of the powder. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. It does make my skin tone very even. I like the color match was really well. It's very lightweight. It's giving me a more natural look, but that's not really my jam. I like more full coverage. But let's see how it looks when I apply the rest of my face. There we go. Okay, so now that I have my completed face, I do like it better. So I wouldn't say that this is love at first sight, but maybe if we go on a couple more dates, like we might eventually fall in love. Now, according to the website, the Bare Minerals Matte Powder Foundation is supposed to last up to eight hours. This foundation went on at 11 a.m., so I will be back in eight hours and we'll see exactly how well this powder foundation holds up. And I'm back. It is now 7 p.m., so I've had on this powder foundation for eight hours, just like the packaging claims. So, final thoughts. It did an okay job at containing my oils, but I am going to blot at this point. I always use my oil absorbing sheets. These are by Clean and Clear, and they're just these little sheets that you press on the oil, and then you see how much oil you produced. So, first dab isn't too bad. See all that? We don't want that on our skin. Okay, so I do see some of the powder on here, so that shows me that it's not exactly transfer proof. And that's kind of a good amount of oil. I would only wear this powder on like a really short chill day where I didn't wanna have like a full face, just something like, like a quick no makeup makeup type of look maybe, but I probably wouldn't grab this if I want something that's going to be full coverage or something that's going to last me all day long. I'm glad that the price range isn't that bad. I'm really happy with the shade range available, but that's kind of it. If you have tried the Bare Minerals Matte Powder Foundation, please leave me a comment below, let me know your thoughts. I'm still willing to try the Bare Minerals Liquid Foundation, which is also supposed to be matte. If you've tried that one, please let me know your thoughts, let me know if it's worth me buying it and trying it and reviewing it. If you want me to review that one, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Before you go, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca and come back for my next Foundation Friday. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.